Now we all love movie night, don't we? Yeah. Oh. Although our chosen genre may differ. Yeah. What John and I have done is put together some of the latest state of the art tech to help really immerse you in the action or the comedy or horror of whatever you've chosen. Rom com. To watch. Oh, rom com. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, we're going to kick things off with this beauty here. It's from LG and it's an OLED 4K HDR TV. Beautiful, isn't it? What size it is. is that? It's 55 inch. Oh. And it also comes with Dolby Vision. So each oh. of the pixels you see on the screen is doing more work, giving you a really, really vibrant uh, image. It comes loaded with stuff, not least of which is the WebOS platform, uh, which is really, really easy to use. It's quite literally point and click. And it also comes loaded with uh, a whole range Netflix, of... Netflix, Amazon. Does it do their 4K on, services? Uh, 4K for Netflix so and you Amazon. Can, do you remember? Because I've, I've yes. still not managed to make use of the 4K offerings from both Amazon and Netflix. It's a lovely bit of kit. I mean, it, it really is. It really is an excellent picture. It's curved, so that's good. It's, uh, it's got OLED, it's got lots and lots of contrast, really bright colours, lovely. I've coupled it with the SoundTouch 300 from Bose, okay, which is a soundbar, comes loaded with different forms of connectivity, including um, HDMI, ARC, and Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. It also comes with Adaptique, which is Bose's way of filling any room of whatever size with really nice organic ambient sound. Listen to this. That is really good. That's such a small unit. Mm. Because virtual surround sound is often difficult to achieve. Never quite as exacting mm. as physical surround sound, but that's doing quite a good job. Not bad at all. Looks good as well. Now, if you've got more space to play with, you could try a projector. This Optima projects really high quality images, but on a much larger scale. So it's effectively like having a cinema in your own living room. It's 1080p, okay. bright, vivid colors, and it's got 3,000 lumens of output, so you get really nice, bright, Highlights, but at the same time, lots of contrast, so you get lots of detail in the dark areas as well. See, I've always fancied the idea of having a projector. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Mm. A nice big white wall and just to make everything more cinematic, whatever I'm watching. I agree. And actually, for, for, as a gamer, I think mm. I, I can think of nothing greater. You want the image to be as big as possible, almost to the extent that the characters on screen are life size and you can really feel immersed in it. Now you'll be pleased to note it does have a gaming mode for faster responses, which you'll uh, need while gaming. It'll also cope with 3D inputs and you can also attach your Chromecast or another streaming device like Apple TV and get all that content on the big screen as well. I'm really, really impressed with the with the clarity and the fact that it's, it's bright. It's in the afternoon, we've got studio lights and we can still really see mm. the picture. This is, I think, an average day and that, and, and that picture is, is, is super Good. clear. Just sitting back on a Saturday night with the kids watching a great big blockbuster. Yeah. Mm. Fantastic. And, you know, for that money, brilliant. We all know I love a party mm -hmm. and yeah. I love music. Yeah, we know that. To get a party going, we need a good amount of music. Mm. And so to get it going to the max, I have some perfect speakers. Brilliant. It never ceases to amaze me, even with my love of gaming, that the technology just keeps coming. It just keeps rumbling on. And again, this year is going to be another bumper year for gaming innovation technology.